Good morning. What is up today, all you Coronites? <laughs> Coronites. Maybe that's what we'll call the next generation after millennials. We'll see how they behave. Well, it's a beautiful spring day, as you can see. And also, as you can see, and you've probably seen from my other videos, my arms don't get a whole lot of sun. And this is one of the few days. Uh, we just got back from a camping trip, got some kind of exciting news. I recently was looking on Facebook Marketplace and picked up one of these, pretty cheap, pretty, well, yeah, pretty good deal for what you can usually get them for. Anyway, so we've been bracing it in, taking it on a few camping trips. We were really looking for something. My wife, Lindsay, loves camping, um, but she was pregnant last year, and this year we have a little baby, which is awesome. But she's been hasn't been able to really go on any trips lately. Screen's dirty. So we really we needed something to make it to where we could take our little daughter camping with us and still get out and do some stuff. I've loved this thing so far. Um, got it super muddy this last weekend. But it'll go anywhere, and you can put anything you want on top put a four-wheeler if you have one or whatever anyway <clears throat> got it super muddy though so today I'm gonna be cleaning it off it's actually already gone around one in the the car wash in town um, but still got quite a bit of crud on it and I'm gonna spray the the tent off and kind of air things out too so anyway I've heard these things are, are pretty waterproof and so we're gonna put that to the test today. You guys stay tuned.
Hopefully you enjoyed that little montage of me running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Got Andy supervising my work this morning. Say hi Andy! That stuff looks pretty yummy, whatever you're eating. Yep, she's been supervising my work this morning. Um, quick little pro tip, if you guys have come home from a bunch of camping trips and cleaned all the mud off your trailers and four-wheelers and all that, and you've gotten pretty good at it and you're looking for like the next level of mud removal difficulty, just go ahead and let that mud set and cure for a day or two, and then you'll really have a good time getting removed. So you're welcome for that little tip. And we're going to let this thing dry out and... I may actually pull the whole thing out to clean the actual trailer off a little better, we'll see. Anyway, so we're just going to leave this set up and let it dry.